What's up guys, I'm Dakota DeVille. I'm from Seabrook, Texas. And I wanna share with you guys my testimony how God saved my life and he can save yours too. So yeah, uh, um, I was born in the church, in Catholic church. I was raised in, in that area and my, I actually got baptized like when I was like a few months old. My parents just, they brought me into the church. I really never wanted to be a part of it as growing up. It seemed like a very boring thing to me and I didn't really get anything out of going to the Catholic church. It was just very dull to me. and I always just sat there and didn't really get anything out of it. Like I knew of God, but I didn't know who he was. And so yeah, I would just sit there and be like, man, like, I can't wait for it to get done. Like it was an hour long and like, I would just be waiting for that hour. And like, man, when is this gonna be done, man? Like, I'd get out and uh, so yeah, like that was just, that's my, the part of uh, the church, the church life. I was, grew up in the church life, so yeah. Um, I wanna go into some things that uh, kind of brought in a lot of hurt and brought me away from God more and more. And I'm gonna just start off by saying, uh, when I was eight years old, I was introduced to pornography and masturbation. And that was a huge hit in my life. And uh, yeah, I was just a, a big part of the, when the, the enemy, the devil came into my life and tried to bring me down a lot. And you know, like I was just such a young kid, I didn't really know what it was. And that was, that was just, I was just, dude, that was such a low part of my life. Like, just started at such a young age and it brought so much hurt already as a little kid and that just started getting more and more uh, into my life like more addicting to it and just kept me more and like that's where I tried to find my love in, in that in that situation right there and uh, also my mom and dad they got divorced when I was very little so the parents splitting up was another huge part of it and I never had really the father figure in my life and I was I remember crying out to God, like, please God, I just want my dad to be in my house with me. Why can't my dad and mom be here together? And like, I just want them both, like, and yeah, I never really had a good relationship with my father and he was just always kind of gone. I didn't really see him much. I didn't hardly even talk to him really on the phone either. Uh, that hurt me a lot. And I always just wanted a father to look up to and um, never really enjoyed the stepdads coming into the home with my mom just couldn't really look at him as a father and uh, it usually never worked out very good so yeah that kind of sucked and uh, so yeah that's I remember just starting I was getting really sad and um, couldn't find love just tried finding it in the wrong places and uh, eighth grade got introduced to smoking marijuana and yeah that was just another thing added onto the list to see if I could find joy love peace all those other things that I didn't know where it was at I was doing that a lot with my friends and that didn't really do anything like just build up the pain even more just building it more and hardening my heart even more and more and I I tried just going deeper and deeper into things and then I got introduced to alcohol in high school and started drinking a lot of alcohol and I was just being stupid with everything and I was still at this time I was still struggling with pornography and it never really left left my life and so I'll, I'll tell you about that in a minute but yeah so all that started adding up and then depression started coming in started thinking like dude like what is the even purpose like I don't I don't know where I'm gonna go like I, what's gonna happen like God, where are you? Like, I just kept questioning that. Like, dude, like, I don't, I don't understand anything. Like, and it was because my mind was fogged up, dude. I couldn't see because I was putting all the things in the world inside me, dude. Like, everything was just such a, a blur to me. Like, I, I couldn't see anything. I was blind, dude. Like, I wasn't able to see. God was there the whole time, but I couldn't real. I didn't realize it because I had all that stuff in my life. I had hatred. I had unforgiveness. I had the pornography, the masturbation, the alcohol, the smoking weed, the, the sex, using girls for sexual desires and all that other stuff, dude, just completely blinds you and fogs up your mind of seeing like, the, the truth out like with God and with Jesus Christ and the true meaning of like who, who he is, the father, he is the father figure. I didn't realize that until 
Um, two years ago, junior year in high school, one of my one of my friends they, who actually skates, like kind of like met, I met him at skating, and he uh, he brought me to his house. And his dad was like a minister for like 20 years, and his, uh, one day he just started talking to us about Jesus, and and it was just so it was so different. Like I never heard it in this way before. And, and it hit me so hard, like I actually felt the love in such a different way. It, it really touched my heart and it was amazing, dude. Like I never, I never felt this love from any of the other things I tried finding it in my life. And I was like, dude, like I want this. I want to know who, the, who Jesus is. Like I want to know this guy more. Like this is so awesome. This is actually like making me feel like I'm, I'm worth something. It's making me feel like a son. It's making me... It's, it's awesome, dude. Like, I, ha I feel this relationship with him. It was so great. Like, just that first day, just learning about him, it just it stirred up everything. It, it, st it started everything, dude. Like, almost immediately, I felt like it started breaking things off, and it got deeper and deeper into that, and eventually we started a Bible study, and that was sick. A bunch of people started coming, and, man, I really started to get into this whole relationship thing with God, and it was super sick, and I started to get healing things were getting healed from my past and eventually I didn't even look back in my past and God took away all these things from me like that I don't have to struggle with anymore I don't even have a desire to to smoke weed anymore I don't have a desire to drink because God fulfilled that inside of me like he, he is enough he is so enough like it just completely filled me up entirely it, it overflowed and poured those things out of my life like I, I don't even come I mean, I've been around it before, but like, I didn't have a desire to, to because I was just so filled by God and His love and His, his peace and, and the joy. Like, I don't even need that anymore, dude. Like, that's nothing compared to what God can give us. It's super awesome that I'm so happy that I got to experience that for, for Him to come into my life. I'm so blessed that He saved me, man. It's so awesome. And, wasn't even, I'm not even done, it wasn't even, yeah, it's not even it, uh, so much more, I thought I was getting super serious about it, and then, um, I went to IHOP last year, and that completely rocked me, it opened up just so many, it opened my eyes up, and I had experienced so much things I didn't even realize that I could experience with God and, it, and His presence, and it was super sick, and uh, that just stirred this fire inside me so much and everything is so different now like I want to get to know him more and more and more I'm so hungry and there we're never I'm never gonna stop learning about my father that that saved my life and uh, yeah and then I just I uh, after a while like I was like, this isn't enough. I want I want more. And one random night, I found calling on skaters on Instagram. I was like, dude, what is this? Like skateboarding and, and ministering or skating? Like that is the sickest thing ever. This is what I wanted to do. Is my dream. Like I didn't think I'd ever be able to have skateboarding in my life, in my whole life. Like I thought I'd eventually have to go uh, go to go to school and like be some doctor or something I, I thought I was gonna have to quit skating and then I saw this and I was like dude I can spread the love of God through skating so I applied and I got a call the next day they wanted me to come I couldn't believe it and I, I had no money and sold my car and I got money from the car and then all of a sudden I got all the money to come here and God brought me here to California so sick to be here. God is still working with me. And if there, I can't wait to see what else he has planned. And, yeah. Boom.
not be great.